Hey, how's it going today? It is me, Captain Edgy, and today we are here to talk about the Lo-Fi 12. Not the original release, because that's already happened, but the new operating system, or the new firmware that just was released for it the other day. Now, this kind of got a little overshadowed by the release of the Lo-Fi 6, which is the new 6 kilohertz version of the Lo-Fi 12. Uh, so it's kind of an extra crunchy, crunchy peanut butter sampler type thing um but uh yeah. so if you like the uh the crunchiness of the lo-fi 12 and you're looking for a few extra peanuts in your peanut butter uh then the lo-fi 6 might be what you're looking for but aside from that let's just get into this and show you how to update the lo-fi 12 there have been some updates to it that are some improvements and a few fixes so how would we go about this first we want to go to the sonicware uh website which is at sonicware dot jp got a link going across the screen i've got a link down in the comments that should get you right where you want to be all right so first do that now once we're here we want to go to support it's right here on the top of the menu go to downloads and here you'll see all of the products that sonicware makes we want to go to the lo-fi 12 here we are in the lo-fi 12. let's download the firmware by just clicking this download link you'll see that it downloads and to whatever folder you normally put your downloads in. For me, it's the standard downloads directory on my Windows machine. So now we want to get this installed. To do that, we need a SysX reader and loader. If you don't have one, which most people don't, you can get one right here if you go into this documentation that says, please read this update guide before updating. Uh, just click here, boom, and the update guide will open. And this is a PDF. You'll notice down here on the first page, there are these two blue links. Depending on what you're using for an operating system, whether it's Windows or Macintosh, you will need one of these two updates or one of these two software packages. I'm using a PC, so I use MIDIOX. They basically work the same. Uh, the directions are here for both. If you scroll down, there's updating the firmware for Mac, updating the firmware for PC. It's basically the same. I'm going to show you the PC version right now. Uh, the Mac version, if you're really interested in having a video for it, let me know. I'll make another video for that. Put that in the comments. If you uh, can just follow the directions or the directions here solo, then have at it and you'll be updated in no time. Anyway. All right, so let's take a look here. So we go in here and we see that first what we need to do is turn off your Lo-Fi 12. So easy to do, right? Turn it back on while holding down the shift and power button. So you hold down shift and power button and you will see that it says UPDT, which is for update. Now we go over here to, uh, we need to open up our software that they provided, the MIDI aux. This is not, uh, just so you know, this is not uh, something that Sonicware created. It's an open source application, so uh, don't hate on the look to look of it too much. <laughs> it it does, It's not pretty. But double click MIDI aux, we open this up. And now when we're here, we go to options and we're gonna select our MIDI device. Click MIDI device. In my case, I use the Focusrite um, as my kind of immediate MIDI connection uh, to my synthesizers on my desk. Now, just to make you aware, you do need a MIDI cable and you need this hooked up to your computer by MIDI for this to work. It's the only way to put this on there as the Lo-Fi 12 and the Lo-Fi 6, neither one of them has SD cards or USB port. The only way to send data to it is serially through the MIDI cable. So you need a MIDI cable. If you don't have one, I'll put a link down below in the comments where you can get some low cost MIDI cable solutions for Mac or PC that hook up by USB. But anyway, so you, assuming you have your MIDI connection, select the one you want to use. I'm using Focusrite, like I said here, and then just hit OK. Boom. It is now, you know, connected to my, my Lo-Fi 12. Next, what I would want to do is go over here. Let's see, I'm going to scroll down these directions a little bit here. Uh, so we've got the MIDI application launched. What we want to do next is go to the, the uh, SysX menu and select the configuration. I'll set the configuration. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go to View, and we're going to go to SysX right there. And then we're going to go right over here to SysX and configure and you'll see this box show up now this is uh it's a bunch of numbers 
that you're kind of thinking, wow, what's all this? Just scroll down the documentation a little bit more and it'll show you the exact same numbers, 256, 256, 32, 32, 256, 256. Everything is matching up here, right? Make sure the boxes that are checked here are checked on both sides, you know, so you're matching the documentation. And if you've got all that set, you are ready to go to step six, okay? Click okay. Now from the file menu, we're gonna go to send sysx file. So I hit send sysx file. Then what you do is select the file that you want to send. So for example, if I want to send this one, which is the, the most recent version, I'd click OK and I would hit open and it would start to send. Now you'll see this window behind you doing all numbers scrolling by. This is all data being sent over. And this will take about eight minutes to complete. So I'm just going to skip ahead. All right, so when that's all done, all you need to do now is press OK on your Lo-Fi 12, and you are done. Your system has been updated. So congratulations. Get ready to enjoy the new features. I'll make another video going into how to use them. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me. Hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Have a great day. Bye for now.